Hello friend, welcome to my channel 5 Minute Pediatric. Today I will discuss about these questions which I have asked earlier on my Facebook page. So the child is having crusted eczema, recurrent pneumonia with nematocils and it has history of delayed shedding of primary teeth along with feature of having pathological fracture even after trivial injury and on investigation serum IgE e level was 6000 international unit per ml so what is the diagnosis so the diagnosis is hyper IgE what we call job syndrome so let's discuss some important fact of hyper IgE syndrome so it is a type of primary immunodeficiency disorder so let's come to the etiology and genetics so we have two gene one is STAT3 most commonly most common it is and it is associated with job syndrome other two genes you have to remember one is DOC8 and other is TYK2 so this two genes involved in more severe cases and it has more viral susceptibility so what are the immunological features associated with so the the child may have high IgE level usually more than 2000 decreased TH17 cells especially in a STAT3 mutation the child may have normal or decreased level of uh, immunoglobulin like IgG, IgA and IgM and you will get isnophilia. So what are the clinical features? So the tried for autosomal dominant what we STAT3 mutations you may get recurrent abscess, you, you may get eczematous dermatitis and very high level of serum IgE. So what are the other system involved and what are the features? So if it involves skin, you may get eczema, boils, cellulitis, impetigo. In lungs, you may get nematocils, recurrent pneumonia. In ENT, you may get otitis media, sinusitis and mucocutaneous candidiasis. In musculoskeletal system, you may get pathological fracture even after trivial trauma and scoliosis along with hyperextensible joints. In dental, you get the uh, delayed shedding of primary teeth that uh, having delayed ex exfoliations. In facial feature, you may get uh, coarse facies, broad nasal breeze along with deep-seated eyes. Viral infection, especially with DOC8 like HSV infection, HPV infection or molluscum contagion. The pathophysiology includes for STAT3 mutations which leads to TH17 development. So if their mutation is STAT3, there is defective uh, TH cell development that leads to impaired neutrophilic infiltration at the site of infection. In DOC8 mutation leads to combined immunodeficiency. So there is uh, poor T cells and B cells memory. So that leads to impaired viral clearance. So diagnosis is based on clinical criteria along with lab finding. In lab finding, you may get high IgE, isnophilia along with mutations like STAT3, DOC8, TYKT mutations and TS17 cells count. Imagine you may get for CT or uh, scoliosis screening. Management includes uh, treatment of infection, especially the child required prolonged antibiotic uh, uh, or uh, antifungals. Skin cares by emollient, topical uh, steroids or topical antiseptic. You, for uh, immune modulator, you may require IVIG in case of DOC8 mutations. Uh, in DOC8 mutation, the curative treatment is uh, hemopoietic stem cell transplantations. The, for docket uh, deficiency, you should avoid live vaccines. So, what are the complications? So, uh, it may cause lung destructions in the form of bronchitis, nematocils, 
may develop lymphoma, especially in dog eight. Most of the complication associated with dog eight because uh, it may cause severe allergy, uh, severe atopy. It may progress to malignancy like uh, cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma. So these are these are the important point you must know about uh, hyper IgE syndrome whether it is autosomal dominant form or autosomal recessive form. Hope you enjoyed this video. Kindly like, subscribe and share these important content amongst your friends. Thanks, thanks for watching.